But first, almost 30 people have been killed this year in Kansas City. And behind every number, there's not only a victim, but a family, friends, a community. 41 Action News reporter Kat Reed spoke with the family of a young father who died on Friday. And Kat, they want to share a message. They do, Dia. The family of Alan Davis is tired of seeing these images over and over. This footage of vigils and balloon releases is from the past month and a half alone. Tonight, the Davis family and community advocates want justice for Alan and an end to the city's senseless violence. This is the bus stop, 46 in Prospect. Where a gunman shot 30-year-old Alan Davis six times on March 8th. He ran to this gas station for help, made it to the hospital, and survived the surgery. He was talking to me. We was talking. We was talking. Alan was up and talking to us. Yet Davis was still fighting for his life, a battle that ended on Friday, one week after he was shot. They gave us the news that he didn't make it, and my, my heart stopped. Oh, oh, oh. I'm going to miss my brother. I'm going to miss my brother because he mean the world to me. He also meant the world to his nine-year-old daughter, Chris Lynn. This little girl has been cheated by crime. He touching my toes. The family is working with Monica Roberts of Healing Pathway Victim Service Agency. Agency. The nonprofit offers counseling and other resources to the children impacted by homicide. There were 200 kids in the program last year. As a community, we have to realize this is more than just a news story. This is more than just a number, a statistic that we're seeing. These are real families. This is going to continue to happen until we start to become one. Another balloon release <laughs> from a family that has had enough. It is just too much to keep losing people. Too much to keep doing these balloon releases yes. for something yes. so tragic. We tired of even, even if this wasn't our family, we're still tired of it. Alan Davis's mother says her son told her he did not know the person who shot him. If you have any information, call the tips hotline.